What is up? Welcome to another edition of Sacktown Movie Buffs. Uh, once again, I'm Kier. My counterpart, Jason, is not going to be with us today, um, so it'll just be myself. Um, today, we are actually doing another flick fair uh, movie review, and the film that I'll be reviewing today is actually going to be called uh, Table 12, uh, which is a short film which you can now find streaming on, on flick fair and various sources as well. Um, so basically, uh, the general skinny of the film is basically about uh, kind of an over, uh, I guess you would call them an overweight team or an overweight child that basically is going to a uh, uh, basically a, a lunch with his father. Um, I, I get the general sense that maybe the father and son aren't uh, as close. <laughs> and uh, so basically they're at the, the dinner table and the father kind of orders his food and then the son comes and wants to order kind of basically a, a, a meal that basically isn't as calorie uh, consuming which kind of creates a, a conversation and argument about like, you know, the father's basically saying that just get whatever you want. You can still eat, you know, French fries or whatever case may be. And so they get into an argument about health and the son kind of wants to join like, you know, a gym membership, something so he can kind of work on his own self-esteem and kind of get himself back into shape. Um, so that's kind of the general sense of it. Like I said, it's a, it's a short film. Um, I believe it's a little bit less, maybe a little more, a little less than eight minutes long. So I have the director with me here today. Uh, his name is Jacob. So I'm going to bring him in uh, just so we can get into that conversation. So I'll go ahead and uh, uh, bring him in in a second. So I'll go ahead and bring this down and bring in Jacob. And there he is. How are you doing today, Jacob? Hello, I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. Um, so yeah, I really did enjoy the film. Um, like I said, it's a. Uh, uh, I thought it would, the acting was really, really good. Um, like I said, it's a. It, how long is the film? How long is the runtime on it? I think it's like. Uh, it's about. It's a little over six minutes. Six minutes. Okay, yeah. So it's a little bit over six minutes. Um, yeah. So, uh, so it's not a very long film. Um, but I thought for for the constraint of what it was, it's pretty much all set at basically this restaurant at table twelve, um, yeah. and they kind of they get into a, a conversation between father and son. Um, like I said, I get the general sense that maybe the uh, the son might live with his mom or something of that nature, and kind of Correct. he's just kind of visiting. His, his father has like visitation rights, and so they're right. they're kind of doing their visitation thing. Is is the general sense? Is is what I get in right. the film. And basically, there's kind of a, a struggle between the son uh, wanting to basically acknowledging the fact that he's, you know, maybe wants to lose a little bit of weight or probably should do something a little bit better for himself. And the father is right. basically on the other side and like, hey, you can eat whatever you want. I don't understand why you're, you know, getting all self-conscious about it. He's also kind of arguing with him a little bit and seeing that there's other things that you've wanted to do in the past or other activities and like swimming and that kind of stuff. And and you didn't stick it out. So why would I get you a gym membership? Because you're not going to stick this out either. And that's kind of the general sense of, 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 of the film. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so my first question for you is obviously, what was your inspiration for this film for Table 12? So I was um, a little bit of an overweight, an overweight kid as I was growing up. Um, and uh, it took a lot for me to, to lose the weight. It was it was a pretty big struggle through my life. So I really just wanted to make something um, that kind of reflected that because I, I don't think like I think it's talked about a lot being overweight and, and the struggles that it comes with. But really seeing into the world of someone um, yeah, I just, I just kind of wanted to bring more attention to it and uh, how how it's really like a big mental mental thing, even over physical. Definitely, definitely. Um, so so was it kind of based on on your childhood experience? I mean, were you in the same kind of a similar situation, maybe, or is that um, was that part kind of the relationship with the father was was a bit exaggerated. That wasn't how my relationship with my father is. But got um, it. Uh, yeah, I mean. The way that that he wanted to order like a salad and people would look at him kind of strange that that's kind of like a very um muted version of what it's like i think while you're going through the process because mm -hmm. people um yeah people don't really understand why you're making some of the decisions you're making because you change um when you what you've been doing for so long so like usually you'd order something and then you know you 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 can't all of a sudden you can't go do this or you can't go do that or you order this or you order that and uh, people don't really understand it Right. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, because I, I can imagine that if you're going to like kind of a, your favorite restaurant with your kid and, you know, um, I know my son, he, he likes chicken nuggets. So if I took him right. to a restaurant and he all of a sudden wanted to order salad, I'd be like, that's kind of strange. Like why, you know, yeah, you yeah. almost always get chicken nuggets almost everywhere we go. Why right. would you all of a sudden get a salad? Which would create a conversation. Obviously, in this situation, the father was a little bit more harsh about the, the conversation. Right. Basically, like, I don't understand 
you know, I might just ask, you know, hey, what, you know, what's up with the salad? You know, okay, you're trying to work on yourself. I, I understand that. Whereas yeah. the father was a little bit more combative. Um, right. And I think because maybe the son has tried to get into other activities before and didn't, didn't, um, right. uh, you know, pursue it or didn't continue with it. And so I think that might have caused some frustration for the, for the father as well. Um, right. You know, and then obviously he didn't necessarily want it to, to, to pay for a gym membership that was, he felt was going to be a waste of money because he didn't think that his son was going to yeah. uh, continue or stick with it. Because like I said, they had him in soccer and swimming and all these other various activities. So, um, right. um, so great. Um, so did you know, um, so it, there's, Really, there's three people involved: the waitress, the son, and then the father. Um, did you did you know these these actors beforehand, or were these people that you had to to to, to source for? Or yeah, so um, I go to Ringling College in Sarasota. I'm actually graduating senior right now. Okay. And um, so uh, the the son in the film, he was a former student that uh, he left school to become an, to pursue acting pretty much full time. Um, and he was, it was kind of hard. It's hard casting someone who's a bit overweight just because it's, it's a very specific role that I was looking for. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to bring in someone that maybe I didn't know as well. Um, just that I was comfortable with them. So right, was, right. You don't want to yeah. post an ad. Hey, we're looking for an overweight <laughs> kid. Uh, right, <laughs> right, right. I, yeah. I was pretty comfortable with him. So, uh, I thought he'd be, he'd be perfect for the role. And then the other two, um, the other two actors we did source, um, they've been in some previous, uh, productions at our school so uh, that's kind of how i found them yeah well it's great um yeah that was one of the things that i did notice and like i said we do a lot of these not just flick fair we've we've done uh movie reviews for other small independent film directors um some yeah. of them are actually feature link films and uh the issues that sometimes we've had in the past with some of the films that we've reviewed is is you know they'll get like some some name actor sometimes you know what i right. mean they'll, they'll get somebody that, that actually you know, has been in, you know, films that you could, and then they'll get like these other guys that are kind of like their first time out the gate kind of acting. Right. And you can, you could kind of tell immediately, you know, especially in a feature length film, if it's like an hour and a right. half running time, it's very easy to tell if, if someone, you know, and they give them like these big, like emotional roles and, and things of that nature. And you're like, this person's not quite as polished as the other people in the film. And, and so it kind of distracts from it. Um, but I felt right. in this case, all three of the, the actors, obviously the, the waitress didn't have that many lines, but the, the right. conversation between the father and son, I thought was really, really good. I thought the acting was great. So I thought that was, that was Thank fantastic. You. So yeah, I know. So that's a great, great source on that for sure. Yeah. Um, so was this your first project or is this like a school project or kind of what? Um, so th this is part of our junior project. So we do, we do um, many where I, where I go to, for my undergrad, uh, we do films throughout all four years, but this is kind of the big um, thesis project right before his senior year. So okay. not all students get to make a big senior project. So the junior project, everybody's everybody's making a film. So this is kind of my last big hurrah before senior year. And uh, I've, I've worked on, I'd say, like tens of other films uh, at the school itself. Uh, but this is not necessarily my first film that I've made. I've made uh, quite a few before it, actually. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. And I got to assume you're... you're your passion is, is in film and in directing yeah. or, okay. Yeah. 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 It's actually editorial for the most part. I, okay. uh, I want to go into post-production, but okay. um, we'll just see where life goes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, definitely life takes, 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 takes a lot of different changes. Like myself and Jason, yeah. we actually went to college together and, uh, and, uh, we, we, uh, well, I minored in film, but we, we, we both did we did both did like projects for school for film and things right. of that nature. Um, I ended up going more into like multimedia, web design and that kind of stuff. Didn't end up using it as a profession, but just one of those things that I happens. See. Well, I, I kind of do it now, now that we're we're kind of back in the fold doing yeah. these. I have to do a website and that kind of stuff. But but many years <laughs> I took yeah, off yeah. between school and, and getting back into it. So it's kind of like 20 years later, I decided, you know what? I think now's a good time to start using some of those skills that I got my degree in. Uh, but, yeah. um, you know, of course, the, the media has changed so much over the, the years since, you know, Jason and I were in school. So right. it's, it's, it's the technology is a lot different, you know, right. back in those days, we we were still using like VHS tapes and things of that nature to record our, yeah. our films with like a little, you know, <laughs> handheld mics and things of that nature. So it wasn't well, mm -hmm. the production quality wasn't wasn't nearly as, as good as what you did in your film. So um, right. so you know we, we just didn't have the technology back then, of course. So um, right, that's cool. Um, so when you get done, you're 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 planning on getting more into kind of like editing and that kind of thing, and versus actual um, like film directing or. Uh, yeah, well, so right now I actually, I'm doing an internship with um, Film Nation, which they're okay. based in 
New York, LA, and London. They have offices. Um, I'm with the LA team right now, and I was actually supposed to move out to Los Angeles this January, but uh, I switched my plans around uh, pretty rapidly because um, I work with a, a pretty large YouTuber in the area where I am right now. So right now I'm just kind of seeing where that takes me, and uh, I'm still working on uh, some scripts outside of that. Um, so yeah, in, in the end, I, I do plan to to go into feature filmmaking in some in some regard, but. Uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Awesome. And you're you're in Florida right now, correct? Right. Yes. And, yeah. and is that where you're from? Is that where you were kind of? I am. I'm from. I'm from a bit further south near Miami, but right now I'm in Sarasota. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, so you're looking at potentially at some point making a leap to one of these cities where you're kind of interning with probably Los Angeles. Right. 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 I mean, obviously, you, I mean, there's a lot of good, you know, film elements down in Florida. But I mean, right. obviously, you know, if you're if you're really, really passionate about it, in <laughs> my opinion, in New York or, or Los Angeles is probably where you're really going to want to be. Right. And I would say even more so Los Angeles, just because New York is so um, tight knit there. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I feel like there's still opportunities there and I don't want to down it, but but. Los Angeles is kind of what you think of when you think of Hollywood film industry yeah. and that kind of stuff. There's a lot of, a lot and of, I've got a lot of contacts and friends down there that, you know, that right. they chose specifically chose Los Angeles because they felt like they'd have more, more of an opportunity, which is more vast out there. Right. So I know a lot of, uh, a lot of our graduates, they've, they've gone between New York and LA, but then a lot of them are actually headed to uh, Atlanta and then a bunch of, a bunch of New Orleans mm. right now, actually, they're all working as, as grips in, in, and uh, I'm sorry, did I say Los Angeles? I meant New Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans. You said um, New Orleans. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah. No, no, New Orleans is is um uh, is is a pretty good uh, market right now as well. I was just talking with somebody else that it's doing. In fact, that's uh, Flick Fair. Their their last film festival was actually yeah. in New Orleans. They just had it a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, yeah. No, New Orleans is definitely a hot market. And then right. I talked to another. Uh, a uh, film director who has like a production scene in Memphis, he said has actually been kind of a growing scene as well, which I, really? I wasn't aware of also. He said that Memphis yeah. is also kind of coming up and they're, they're trying to get into the film market. So there, there are a lot yeah. of different avenues you can get into, which is, right. which, you know, obviously like a new or new Orleans or Memphis or any of the other cities that or Atlanta, um, which, you know, are very populated cities. Those are great avenues as well because they're not quite as saturated. Um, right. It's like a you know a New York or or Los Angeles where you know right. it's all about who you know in those cities. Whereas I feel like you might have a better shot you know if you went into like New Orleans or or some of the other cities just because you know you can probably come in and, and you know they'll you'll at least get a, a an opportunity to get your foot in the door kind of thing. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. That's cool. That's cool. Well, um, so it sounds like the film was a little bit more inspirational for you. Um, you know, yeah. but kind of loosely based on, on your childhood. Um, it is, it, it, you know, obviously you, you apparently have lost a lot of weight, so I don't know if that was just yeah. due growth or, or did you, you know, was, change no, your diet? Was, is that the kind of, yeah. was that kind of like the catalyst you were eating yeah, dinner and decided to have work. a salad and go to the gym? How did it, how did all that transpire? It, it was, uh, it was a lot of hard work. I think it, it took place uh, kind of uh, my my freshman year of high school. Maybe I was, I don't. I, I think you just have to, you have to be the one to commit to it. You can't really have anybody tell you to do it. It has to be coming from you. And uh, yeah, my my freshman year of high school, I think I was just I was just kind of tired of it, and I wanted to uh, make the change. So it's a it's probably the hardest thing I've ever done, but it's well worth it. I think. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, too bad Jason couldn't be here um, because he could probably share some of the the sentiments of, um, and that's kind of why we chose this one as well. Probably uh, right. he could probably share some of the sentiments because he was a little bit of a of a. We went to high school together. He was a little bigger in high school and even yeah. into college. Um, uh, well, into college it wasn't until we were about I don't know maybe junior year in college where he decided to make some life changes and make some differences and you mm -hmm. know started you know subbing out you know burgers for salads and and then started obviously a, a workout regimen and that kind of thing right. and and now he's he's pretty much uh working out on a, on a daily basis i've always been into weightlifting and working out but, but yeah. he's, he's starting to get into that and 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 he's been doing that pretty religiously so um so yeah no no great that's that's, that's yeah. awesome i've always yeah and, and we try to pick um you know, either films or documentaries or something that, that that's making some sort of conscious statement. And that's one good thing about right. Flickbear is they have a lot of avenues for, for people. There's a lot of uh, things you know, for weight loss and, and just informative and right. um, 
you know, things about, you know, different places in Africa, different cultures. Um, and then they do a lot with like the Black Lives Matter movement and, and other right. social uh, social justice uh, movements and things of that nature. And those are the kind of things that we like to talk about and gravitate towards when we're doing these these smaller reviews. We do reviews on, on big movies, Godzilla versus Kong and stuff like that. But yeah. um, but when we're doing these things, I, I kind of like these ones because because they're they're offering something that you don't get to see every day. There's not a lot of films right. out there that are dealing with those types of issues in a, in a serious way and a realistic way as well, because that conversation felt very real. It felt like a conversation that that a, a father and, and, and son could have. Um, you know what I mean? Where maybe the father wasn't understanding or, or not being as supportive and, and, and that kind of thing. And and right. obviously the ending, you know, was the kid basically felt defeated because the father um, wasn't being supportive of him and, you know, wasn't, you know, motivating him and, and trying to help him to, to, to get right. back in shape, you know, and the father clearly was, was in, you know, better shape than the son was. So it's yeah. like, you know, you, you would think <laughs> that he would care more to, to kind of help his son along the, along his journey. So but yeah. clearly that didn't happen. So. But cool. No, I, I definitely enjoyed it. Like I said, it's it, it's uh it's short and sweet, but I kind of liked that it was. You know, it was just a great like one off conversation that they could have, and definitely something that if you wanted to go back, you could expound upon that. And uh, and you know, if you right. if you wanted to do something with that project, you could go back yeah. and redo some things or 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 you know, add some add to add more layers to it. You know, right, right, what right. does he do? What does he do after that? You know, that kind of stuff. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that great, great. Um, Thank you. But definitely, uh, definitely enjoyed it. Definitely look forward to you know uh, any other projects you're working on um you know you're more than welcome to to send it send it our way yeah, we'll, we'll take a look course. at it as well so um anything else you wanted to add about the film or um I, I don't think in particular i just i just hope people kind of feel something from it. i think that's my biggest my biggest intention with it just to have some kind of emotion uh when you watch it so as long as as long as something gets through to you i think it did its job so Absolutely. Yeah. Um, who who are some of your uh, inspirations in terms of like filmmakers, directors? Oh gosh. Um, I mean, we got the big ones. We have Scorsese and Spielberg and stuff like that. I think uh, Barry Jenkins is someone right now who's definitely very inspiring. Um, he went to, I think he went to school with some of my professors, so okay. they talk about him a lot. Um, okay. And I think he just signed a deal with Disney to do like Lion King. So yeah. he, he came from like from a very low. Um, place in the film world to, to now just skyrocketing so uh, yeah I think yeah yeah i mean it, it definitely can happen you know like i said yeah. it's it's um if, if the talent's there which clearly you have the talent um you're uh, so you did all the the directing and you did the editing as well i'm assuming yeah. since that, that's what your your background is yeah so directed edited and uh written by yeah Perfect. Well, perfect. Well, yeah, man. Well, yeah. you you definitely have a bright a bright future ahead of yourself. Uh, you. uh, yeah. Anything that you want the views, viewers to know? Anything you want them to check out or they should uh, be aware uh, of? Or I don't think there's anything in particular. I think just if you if you're planning on potentially making a film, just go do it. Just don't let anybody tell you not to do it. Just get out there, and make some stuff, and um, yeah, bring awareness to anything that's on your mind. I think that's that's the most important thing with it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, like I said, I definitely look forward to your, uh, you know, any, any future projects you might be working on. You, you have our email contacts. You're more than welcome yeah. to, you know, send us another project. If you do another project for senior year or anything of that nature, uh, yeah. you're definitely welcome to send us, uh, uh, send us and we'll, we'll take a look at that project as well. Uh, but awesome. definitely looks like you got a bright future ahead of you. So it sounds like you kind of know the, the avenues you're looking towards and you kind of know the market. So uh, yeah. I definitely wish you, you know, the best of luck in those endeavors. Thank and like you. I said, it's a tough industry to break into, but um, you know, you definitely have the talents. So I think that you could definitely do something in that industry. Yeah. So I Thank definitely you so urge much. you yeah. just to, you know, fulfill your dreams, live out your passions and, and definitely <laughs> go for it, man, for sure. Yeah. So. Yeah. Gonna, gonna shoot for the moon. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, um, that concludes our, our interview here. Um, obviously, if you want to check out the film, it is currently now uh, streaming on uh, flickfair.com. Um, so you go to their website and check that out. Uh, once again, the film is called Table 12. Uh, we'll also have it uh, uh, streaming on various sources. So definitely want to want to check out the film. Um, and I'll link it uh, in the description of the uh, of the interview as well. So you'll be able to just find it, find it easier. I'll just link it for you. And then as always, if you like the channel, we ask that you like, subscribe uh, to uh, Sacktown Movie Buffs. Um, obviously, make sure you hit the bell notification and then also check out Flick Fair as well. And we'll be back again with another show for you guys again real soon. We thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.